Hey guys, it's me, Kisame Unlimited, with <laughs> Yama Brahma. So, Mike. All right. All right, Mike. All right, so in this video, I'm doing the Six Path of Pain Challenge. Uh, the, the Six Path of Pain Challenge is an endurance challenge, like you guys already know, for the few people that don't know and that's new to this. If this segment gets 500 likes, so 500 people have to click the like button, and you guys will see one next Sunday. So if this video and Spidey's keep getting the likes we keep asking for, me and Spidey will battle in a duel like with all our decks at the end of the format, which will actually look really nice, and you guys will see that if you keep liking the video. So I hope you guys enjoy this game that I have saved for you, and I'm going to get into it right now. It's Dalek, but I remastered it. Um, I've tried out new things. I kind of took out the tune uh, table engine because that was kind of like going a little sloppy for me because I would tend to draw two tune tables or I would draw Cannon Soldier first and it just proved to be dead to me. So I couldn't keep it as long as I really wanted it. So I'm trying out new things like that. You know, Hinata Ka, Dean Soko, whatever her name is, I don't know. So I'm going up against Kaukuri's with like the fucking Mecha Phantom Beast in it. And I kind of felt like I had good advantage. And I remember when I played Denko Saka, the person was just like, what the fuck? Why are you playing? And I'm like, bitch, it's a good card. I don't have to set shit. <laughs> so I found it very convenient. So, and I'm also teaching him how to play Yu-Gi-Oh. So yeah, so this is That's like, so yeah, you're facing, like I'm facing Cockeries and everything. And <laughs> right when I saw Big I was like, well, fuck. But I still got my Rising Storm Doesn't that tomorrow. always come back? Yeah, Treebone Frog. Treebone Frog always comes back. I always love frogs. Frogs is like one of my favorite archetypes. What's the point of having him keep coming back anyway? Well, the point is he, that he keeps coming back from the graveyard so you can sacrifice them for the monarchs. So the monarchs always oh. need a tribute, and the frogs always keep regenerating themselves. So it doesn't matter if you get rid of them. Yeah, but the only problem with this deck is that this deck has, like, no, like, tr protection because of the no trap cards. That's the backlash of the deck. So, keep going into it, I'm just facing like Kaukaris on fucking crack, so that's pretty much it. And then once I saw Raigeki, once I saw Raigeki, I kind of knew I lost the game. I knew it, there was nothing else I could do. I knew that, that just, because when I saw Burrito and Show, you know? <laughs> Yeah, that's his name, isn't it? You, your card's name Burrito. Burrito? Mm -hmm. Uh, I pr pretty much had this is uh, this is a deck that I don't know if you know what this is this deck is called Hat because they take like the main engine of each deck and they try to capitalize it on it it's like that's trap tricks those are the hands and the, uh, what about the other thing like artifacts so they spelt it like for the hands H A for artifacts yeah. and T for trap tricks so, but this guy actually is merging the Satellanites in it which is just you want to bring your friend <laughs> you want to bring your friend? You want to bring your friend? I'm actually, but in this game, I'm using... From the graveyard? Yeah. I'm going to bring my friend from the deck. Yeah. I'm going to bring my friend from the graveyard. But the, in this game, I was facing, like, I was just facing Hatton. I was actually doing pretty decent, but I'm actually um, playing Arch Fiends, because I'm saying, wait a minute, I could really abuse Torgod, which is already being abused a lot in the game because of uh, Burning Abyss. So I'm like, hey, I could use Scram, use Dante, and try out a whole bunch of other combos on it. And I, yeah, I haven't even been playing this game for like a month, and I think everyone I burst had Tour Guide. Well, I think 90% of, like, of people used her, and I, I didn't get what she did until you told me. Well, Tour Guide's like such an, like, an advantage. <laughs> so, like, and until I saw her. Well, I saw what people did with that. And now, like, once I saw, like, how my field was just, like, obliterated, there was nothing else I could really do at this point. Sometimes, because when, when I'm, like, when I'm losing like this, I just want to say, just kill me already. I don't have time for this. Just kill me. I don't care. And so, he basically just bounced back everything, like, I'm just knocked out my falling down. Not like I could use it anyway. I mean, it would have been nice if I could have done something, but it's okay. So, basically... Hey, there's a kitty in the background. Let me go get you, kitty. Uh! If you destroy Call the Haunting, your monster dies. Right? Yeah, but it doesn't matter. He had so much. Most of the time in Yu-Gi-Oh, know, when you have a certain amount of card advantage, you automatically lose. That's the sad thing about Yu-Gi-Oh. Don't matter anymore. Well, I know that because that you happens, that happens to me. Because all I do is get advantage. 
well, advantage that's... over. Well, le le I drew two Call of the Haunted, did nothing I could do, so I was just like, whatever. And it's funny, he drew Call of the Haunted. <laughs> but pretty much like right here, I just like pretty much lose. So now I'm gonna go into the last game I have. All right, so right now I'm facing Fire Fist, uh, uh, Koki Marus, I think that that's what that is. I don't know. So Upstart but, Goblin. Yeah, Upstart Goblin's a bitch, but I'm using God, and God has a new twist, because now I play the trap tricks. I don't fucking care. I play tunes and trap tricks and aliens and fucking chameleons. Looks like a fucking mess, and people think it's fucking weird, but you know what? It fucking wins. I don't give a shit. <laughs> so, that's a kitty crime. <laughs> So right now he's trying to use bear, and I'm like, uh-uh, and then, it's funny because when he did that, I had another Fiendish Chain face Gem down, I think. And, uh, no, that, it, it, that's Gemini Pearl. And it's funny, right when I saw that card, I was just like, wow, out of any card I can't fucking target, why would he have to play that thing? But I was like, whatever. So I basically just did that and swung. So at this point, I was already saying, all right, I have a little advantage. The moral of my deck is to get Shock Trooper, or Goblin Attack Force in the graveyard, so I could bring either one back with Ammonite or Mass Chameleon to always have a play. And that's what I really like about the deck. And plus, the deck is full of advantage. Oh, oh I hate that card. Yeah, he hates Breaker of the Magical Warrior. I'd be busting him out. I'm trying to teach him how you plus in Yu Gi Oh! I just can't. It doesn't matter what you do, he always just ruins something. That's true. He's a bitch. All right, so uh, this is I'm pretty much, I'm pretty sure I play Class here. I'm like, ha ha, Kublin, uh, like Goblin Attack Force wins games, so I pretty much just like go for game right here because I attack with both of them. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Game over. So that's pretty much all I have for you guys today because that's the farthest someone has gotten so far in the challenge. So don't forget, if you want to challenge me, um, add the Facebook page that's going to be in the description below because I am going to always like leave status updates of when I'll be on dev and while I'll be dueling people so you guys could hit me up and challenge me. I only use dev pro though. And if you want to duel me, just kidding, I suck, don't duel me. <laughs> that's, that's fucked up. You're getting good. You're getting good. It takes time. You play Sylvans, you play Gravekeepers, I play, Harpies. I play a lot. Only because I like I like and, variety. And, and you're also, what, what were you playing to, like yesterday? You were playing Pup gimmick puppets. Yeah. You're good with gimmick puppets though. I try. I don't think I'm good. I think I'm good against the AI. <laughs> I don't think I'm good against people. Mm. I'm sorry. Mm. Alright, so don't forget to like the video. Liking the video is pretty much the most important thing because if this video does not have 500 likes, don't by... forget to like it. Lots and lots of likes. Lots and lots of likes. Always try to beat the likes of the last video. That makes, that makes you guys awesome. They're, they're watching just like bullshit. Bullshit. It's trickery. <laughs> Why is it trickery? I don't know. <laughs> they get to see what they want. That's true. So yeah, because if you guys don't like the video, I'll just change this to a different segment. So if you guys want to see the Six Path of Pain challenge continue and want to see me get scrubbed out by some deck eventually in time. So this challenge I've never lost. Hit me up. So yeah, see you guys later. Hope you have a good day. Leave comments, because most of the time on the channel, people just watch my games and don't say anything. So leave me a comment. <laughs> Bye. Bye.